Director Rick Ross is here at the uh, fire uh, at the, the carpet uh, store on Lincoln. Uh, what we do uh, for large fires like this is we'll uh, send our canteen uh, vehicles out and we'll provide uh, hot coffee, uh, snacks, and uh, other items to uh, firefighters, emergency personnel, and uh, any uh, residents that might be in the area. Um, and uh, if there's a uh, if there's any need for, for overnight sheltering for a large amount of people, we'll also uh, open up uh, shelters. Uh, the way we go about doing that is uh, working with volunteers. Volunteers uh, make up the majority of the, uh, the workforce that responds to fires like these uh, with our canteens and also with our shelters. Uh, and uh, in fact, right here uh, at this site, uh, we have numerous volunteers uh, who are helping uh, provide hot coffee and snacks and, and really making things a little bit easier uh, for the firefighters and for the folks that are in the area. When the fire's out and everybody's safe and out of the building, a hot coffee coffee tastes wonderful. Red Cross works hand in hand with the fire department, especially in the warm weather and in the cold weather. Uh, we've uh, brought out due to smoke conditions or if they had a fire in their home. They're wonderful at, uh, for displaced people. They take them in. They also work hand in hand with us to help us if we need, uh, need odds and ends at the scene of an incident. mental health intern with the Red Cross. I've been here for four months. They were out here canteening, helping the firefighters with this big response. They've been out here for many hours so far, and so we came with some coffee and some hot chocolate and some snacks to help support them and give them a little extra love and energy. I work with all the mental health volunteers who um, are licensed professionals in mental health and counseling and social workers, and they also help any clients or even firefighters or responders with following up if they want to talk to anyone or need any extra assistance. I am making hot cocoa for the firefighters. I get to send responders to fires, I get to respond to fires to help people um, who have been displaced from their homes, help them replace things that they've lost. Uh, I get to give people referrals to other agencies that can help them. A lot of my work is going out to scenes and working with people one-on-one. -on -one. And a lot of it is talking to people over the phone and helping them figure out what their next step is going to be. And I think people are really grateful a lot of the time. I've, been, I've gotten hugs and I've had people tell me that they loved me before because we've helped people and um, it feels really good. Well, and especially in this weather, space heaters, if you use space heaters, keep them three feet from anything that's flammable. At night, shut them off. Uh, the use of extension cords and Christmas trees, make sure they're UL approved and, and don't leave them out at night when you go to bed. And most of all, and most importantly, have a working CO and a working smoke detector on every level of your home.